All right, guys. Today we are gonna be reacting to she laughed about taking advantage of delusional men and their money. Let's jump in. Them try to convince themselves that they're not like, oh, like I'm not paying for. Sex. I'm just like paying for your time. Paying mm -hmm. for like your time, and if you wanna have sex with me, you will because I'm giving you all this money. But it's like in their head, I think they're just delusional. Just how like most women are delusional. I think these there's certain type of men that are delusional too. Like they yeah. expect so much from a woman just because they take them out on a date. Facts. Even if they pay them whoa, or whoa, not. Wait a second. Wait. Can we back off? Um or back up just for a second okay. you have had sugar daddies right yes and you think they're delusional men so you're taking advantage of delusional people is what you're saying yes mm. <laughs> wow and, and do, you, do you do you if if a man were to take advantage of a delusional woman and have sex with her would that be okay I'm not saying what I did was okay. I'm saying no, no, no. no. Answer my question first. No, it's not okay. For... No, it's not okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so why are you taking advantage of delusional men? Because it was a second job. Oh, so if a man said, "Oh, it was a second job for me to take uh, advantage of delusional women for sex," that would that would be a good justification? You think? No, I'm not no. saying my no. behavior be was like correct. Would. What I did was totally in the wrong. Mm -hmm. But I still did it, right? Yeah, so, so you're a psychopath. <laughs> I still do wrong things, and I know it's, it's going to hurt a lot of people, but, but you know, I know, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's no sense of morality. Yeah, I have an accountability for so it. I, have a, I have a question on this. Uh, you did say there were a couple guys who you'd go on multiple dates with. Were you kind of. Fr I mean, Manipulative? I would, yeah. Yes. Like, you would. <laughs> <laughs> Manipulating the delivery. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, you guys haven't watched that original video. That's very good. Uh, very good. <laughs> so yes, wait. I manipulated but so you want to hear you, my story? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you would. Knowing that you had no romantic interest, because I could, you could kind of make the argument that you're like, you go on the first date and you're like, I'm giving them a chance. But usually for most people, after the first date, they've made a determination mm -hmm. as to whether they want to continue seeing this person or not, right? Most people actually make that up within f five seconds, five minutes of first meeting somebody, but they'll usually continue on with the date to be polite. But you've had the first date with these men. Some of them you'd continue to have, you know, second, third, fourth dates. Did you make the determination on the first date with these men that you continued to go on dates with that you had zero romantic interest in them and that there would never be anything? Um, I didn't hear the first part of the question, um, but like, no, like I didn't ever want anything romantic out of any of them. Right. So, I mean, you, <laughs> you were just doing it for the money. For money, correct. Because I... I could sort of get it where the girl's like, well, if I'm going to go on these dates, I look, I disagree with it, but uh, I at least want it to be worth my time. And maybe I will find a guy who I'll like, potentially. I'm open to the idea of dating one of these men who's paying this money. But I think, and I'm not, I'm not even prepared to even grant that that's the case for most of these women, even on the first date, but let's say it is. But it does kind of call into the question once you start going on multiple dates with them, where I'm like, okay, now you're milking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. it's like there's not even a shot in hell, a chance in hell. Any of these men have a romantic or sexual chance with you. And so that's a bit of a quarrel I have there. Uh, where it's well, the like, one that I, I can at least give you a pass if you're like, well, I'm giving them a shot for the first date. Mm. But I'm still not giving you a pass even for that. But if I'm being charitable, I will. Okay. But I'm not. But why would I give so, them, like, a shot if I'm not attracted to them? Well, don't they have their photos on the thing? Yeah, but, like, what so I'm saying, though, is, like, so, like, after I go on the date to, like, obviously make money, um, why would I continuously give them a shot if, like, I don't, I'm not attracted to them? And it was, if it was just for the money, too, but, yeah, I see your point. But you would, I guess it, I'm kind of getting at is, would you lead them on, because there's, it takes two to tango, right? So you have to want to continue to go on the dates 
to make more money, mm -hmm. but they have to continue to want to go on the dates because they think it will be in pursuit of a potential romantic relationship. No. So are you essentially playing a game where it's like you're feigning romantic interest in them? No, they want, at the end of the day, most of them, like I know they wanted like sugar babies, right? So this was when I was like 19, 20 at the time. Okay. Um, <clears throat> most of them just wanted sexual encounters without like having like um, in the back of, in my opinion, I think they just didn't want in the back of the mind that they were going to. Too. I think they wanted to like believe that they were dating the person. Yeah, this is her just trying to to make herself believe that this is the reason why. But she know very damn well this is not that's not the reason. That like they were gonna hook up with. Like I think all of them wanted to hook up with me, and I did give them the idea that like, cause my whole facade was that like I was super religious and I was like gonna be uh, interested in like dating is them. Crazy. <laughs> That was my story. That was like my story. I would tell them like, oh, I'm so looking, yeah, it was I would lie to them. Yeah. yeah. I would lie to them saying like, oh, oh yeah, like boy. I, I want to date okay. you. And like, it can become sexual. Like if like, I want to be in a relationship with oh, you. Oh, boy, um, so at the end of the day, like, I feel like they were working towards that. Um, even though like, I mean, for me, it was just like all a lie. And then for one of them, I mean, I think he <laughs> deserved it because he was married. So wow. like, that's the one that like, oh, you yeah. milked him. I milked him because he had a whole you ass wife. He you wanted to learn your lesson. <laughs> What's that saying? Learn your lesson. When is that saying? A fool is parted with his money or something? I don't know. Um, yeah, he's getting milked. That's what. That's the saying. The saying is that he's getting milk and she doesn't give a damn. That's the. That's the saying. I mean, and me and Andrew have had a back and forth on this. We agree. I mean, I don't think men should be using these services, and they're kind of. I think they're stupid if they do use them. They are. But obviously, mm -hmm. there's also manipulative women on these services. <laughs> mm. Uh, mm. So. What's well, what they get, right? I mean. Well, uh, no. No, 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 that's not I don't, what they get. So, I don't so think so it's this is, this is what I mean by the kind of this, like, double standard woman speak that drives me crazy. Uh, just mere moments ago, what I did was wrong, Andrew. What I, I should not have done that. This was incorrect. This was immoral. This was bad. And then literally, what, 10 minutes later, it's that's what they get. So you, you got to make up your mind. Is that what they get? Or <laughs> is it sorry? that you were doing something that's bad? Like, which one is it? I think it comes to a point, like, nowadays, it's a little bit <laughs> more, like, answer. accessible. Answer. Hang, on. Hang on, let her answer. <laughs> Which one is it? Answer. I feel like this is a good example of how, how females they defend each other. Great example of that. Just notice how they defend each other. How right here, bloated girl was literally trying to answer the question for her because she knows. She knows she's getting screwed. And this back and forward. She knows it. Look at that. Look at look at look how she's even looking at her like hey got caught you're alone in this one like that's a tough one because See, like, there you go at the end yeah. of the day it's, it's like everyone's one. actions right is like has consequences um my yeah, consequences consequences yeah no I consequences mean, okay gotcha. consequences go ahead. right so it's like their actions of like paying a woman of, to like go spend time with them like that deserves a consequence that like you might that's get insane. played like i mean <laughs> <laughs> you said that they, they, wait, they, you said that these men you would think are they were delusional. smart enough they build businesses right you would think they mm -hmm. like like a business model to get people in right marketing all that so it's like why would you pay a woman to like go on a romantic <laughs> date <laughs> well wait wait it's, it's really funny to me that now suddenly there's some justification here where you're saying well wait a second it's actually really tough for me to decide if i did what i did was wrong or incorrect no, it was or wrong. whatever wait where hang on let me finish now Mm. It's just a few minutes ago, you said, wait, uh, these men were delusional. Hey, that's a nice shit test. And he, Andrew, passed it. Let's look at that body language. She's smiling, right? But as soon as Andrew say, hey, hang on, let me finish. She just stopped, stopped laughing, folks. Justification here where you're saying, well, wait a second. It's actually really tough for me to decide if I did what yeah. I did. 
Let me see. Go on a romantic date. Right here, right here. Oh, well, David. Oh, wait, wait. It's, it's really funny to me that now suddenly there's some justification here where you're saying, well, wait a second. It's actually really tough for me to decide if I did what I did was wrong or incorrect. No, it was or wrong. Whatever. Wait, where, hang on. Let me finish now. There you go. Whereas just a few minutes ago, you there said, we wait. Go. You see how she changed her tone? This is what guys don't understand, man. I, I think, I don't know how to be, because kids spend a lot of time with mom or mama. And, you know, we tend to be very nice to women. But woman nature is to always get the best gene. The best gene is not the guy that is a nice guy. It's actually the guy that's outside. It's just, you know, killing in the world. It's a very aggressive guy, very competent guy. And you get to a point that you, in the beginning, you really don't understand it. But the more experience you start getting, you start getting a lot of feedback from the world. And this is when you say, you know what, if this way doesn't work, but when every time that I do this way it works, I should just go this way. This is when you start putting females into a position that are equal to you in respect. If you don't, if, if a guy was just laughing like this and just being disrespectful like this, it would be a different story. However, because females usually are not held accountable to, at the same level, most of them are we're not are not gonna even experience this. I'm telling you, she just experienced a guy telling her, "Hey, chill out, I'm talking," and she just go back quick into a submissive state. Uh, these men well, are delusional, and it's wrong. See, the head down, it. looking up, like a little puppy. That's a submissive state. And Andrew's not do, even doing that much. He's just saying, like, hey, shut up. Basically, shut up, I'm talking. That's a very interesting uh, back and forward. Edge ...of delusional people. Uh, so I would like to know how this isn't a complete and total contradiction, because that's exactly what it sounds like, is a, is a literal contradiction everybody can see. Can you tell us which one is correct? Instead of continuously contradicting yourself, can you just tell us, are these delusional men that you took advantage of, or did they have it coming? You can't say both, right? <laughs> no? Am I wrong in you, thinking like you both? You can say both like, if you am want I to contradict yourself. It's like... Is it okay to take advantage of delusional people because they have it coming? That would be the entailment, right? So either it's it's okay to take advantage of delusional people because they got it coming because they're delusional, or it's it's incorrect to take advantage of delusional people. So it's, it's got to be one or the other. Yeah, it has to be one or the other, folks. It depends on the situation, for their situation nah. specifically, right? Because, like, delusional can be, like, in different terms. Like, different people, Oh, really? Right? Well, well, I'm sorry. I thought delusional means disconnected from reality. Okay. Mm. Is so, that, would you agree that that's what delusional, what else could delusional mean besides disconnected from reality? Well, you know how, like, women are reality? delusional with, like... With like men and like it's dating, perfect relationship and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah like women, so women can justify women justify a lot of like men's actions because they're delusional that like they think like he really means one thing when they're delusional. Be, guys, you're delusional to just get with a five a woman that is a five. You see, you're delusional. You think you can get with a date with a five? Are you sure, man? You're delusional. You're delusional. You you. Do you think you can get with a five? That's what she's saying right now. She's saying that at five, I'm a five, and you think you're in my level. <laughs> in reality, Unbelievable. Well, so, well, hang on. Let's let's back up real quick. Let's just make sure we get this down. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with me that delusional means disconnected from reality? It's Damn. what that comic no. says versus fall, There you go, the syndrome. The, there you go with the syndrome. Uh, hero, hero syndrome. You just want to jump in and help her. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, forget sense. the comment. Do you agree with me that delusional means disconnected from reality? Yes. <clears throat> okay. And if somebody's disconnected from reality, do you think it's okay to take advantage of them because they don't understand that they're being taken advantage of because they're delusional? They're disconnected from reality, right? Damn, that, no. that sounds harsh. No. no. So then if that's the case, how could they have it coming? I guess it's just more so my bias against these men that just pay for women. Oh, okay. okay. So I think it's they just my bias. But I don't understand. So they do they have it coming or don't they have it coming? 
for sure not coming. <laughs> yeah, this is this is what happened when you check the group. See, they cannot. They're trying to help her because they know she's in a deep hole, but they can. You see, this is man. This is good because this is a good example of holding frame. And remember, guys, Andrew Wilson is not the most attractive guy. He's just a regular Midwestern Irish guy. But holding frame is really important. <laughs> He's not even yeah. laughing. Well, yeah. And that's a powerful tool. Not even laughing. When they laugh, now laughing, powerful tool. Powerful tool. It actually creates tension it's sexual th and sexual tension. The right thing to say is no, yes. Okay, the right but thing. is that what you believe? There we go. Now he's destroying her. <laughs> no. Wow. So, so you do think they have it coming even if they're delusional. So I just want to let you know there's some entailments there that you should know, right? That means that if there was a woman who was delusional, let's say, was disconnected from reality, if a man took advantage of her from, for sex, what would your objection then be? It's destroyed. Wow. She got it's destroyed. Biased, right? so she got... Like, now I don't like... Agree yeah, she got that, destroyed. But... Oh, you don't agree with that. So now you have a complete double Correct. standard and Correct. you're contradicting yes. yourself again, right? But who doesn't have a double standard? So. Oh. Many people don't have a double standard when it or many people don't uh, move into contradiction territory, especially. I can understand even if you said I'm hypocritical, I can even deal with that. But this is literally just a contradiction in terms. Mm -hmm. It's a contradiction to say it's wrong for you to take advantage of somebody who's delusional. It's just okay for me to do it because I want to. I don't like I don't I don't understand what you're actually saying here. I'm saying, like, those men, like, that are delusional and paying for women, like, it's okay to take advantage of them. Um, but what I'm not, what I'm, what I'm saying though is, like, for like, for a man to take advantage of a woman, or vice versa, in like the dating realm, I don't think uh -huh. it's right. So, like, oh, because it can be, it can be vice versa. Man, like, a woman can take tone. advantage hang of a man and, too. And what, let's just, hang on. Let's back up again. In what world could that ever make sense? In what world does it make sense to say it's okay to take care to take advantage of delusional men for money, but it's not okay for men to take advantage of delusional women for? Sex? What world can you square these two ideas? Well, they have the money to spend anyway, so that's not the question. Uh, she has the sex to give anyways. Yeah, but it's more like well, not for every woman, but like some women yeah, would consider men. that like. It's so like every An single emotional. thing that you say, everything, every single thing you say can just be applied right back at you, right? It's like, oh, well, they have the money to burn. Well, women have the sex to give. Oh, well, they knew what they were getting into. Okay, well, then they knew what they were getting into. It's like all of these things can be applied in both aspects. So I either mean, it's wrong, she destroy her. wrong and she literally, he literally destroy her worldview. What a master class, man. That, what a master debater. He literally, and this is why he's he's very good when nobody's interrupting, and he, they locked in, and Andrew's locked in. And he, if he gets to your worldview, it's easy for him to dismantle. You took advantage of delusional people, and that's incorrect. Or you have to bite the bullet that wait, it's just okay to take advantage of delusional people if you have some motivation that's self-serving. So I just really need to know which one it is. <laughs> Graffito tagged donated two hundred dollars. Hey, good to see you. You back offer in the a chat. service, have a verbal agreement, and the customer then pays for that service. You now admit you never intended to fully provide the service offered. That's the definition of a scam. There you go. But I don't want to be derailed by this because it's worse. It's actually worse. Right. It's worse. Because it's a contradiction it's a contradiction in term where you are saying actually that delusional men have less value than delusional women. That's what you're actually saying. Delusional yep. men, less valuable than delusional women. That's crazy. Right? Isn't that what you're actually saying? Damn, you have... I guess. <sighs> anyway. yeah. But then if she was a man and then doing it, it would be like the same thing. It would be contradicting. She can't really give the standpoint of a male if she's not in that position. So she can say like, oh, it's delusional for a man to do that. But like, she can't say it's delusional for a woman because it's not like... She's getting paid from women to do it. If it was a woman, we don't need her to. We don't need it. her to take it from the. Well, you're 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 correct in a sense. I don't need her to take it from a female perspective. Uh, I need her to take it from a male perspective, right? So the the ask here is from your perspective, that of the woman. Is it okay for men to take advantage of delusional women for sex? The answer is no. Then how could it be okay to take advantage of delusional men for money? The answer is, I don't know. 
<laughs> so that's why I'm just like, well, wow. can you reconcile these two things so they make sense to me? Ah, she got destroyed badly. Nice job, Andrew. Nice job, Andrew. Oh, man, that was nice. Let me know what you guys see in the comment section below. But he did a very good job of just dismantling their reality. Her reality, that is. And notice how they're just cashing this strategy. When a female's getting on in a debate, you notice that you, this, others are going to simply jump in and try to help her. I call that the hero syndrome. They feel the need to be the hero and save them. That's why when a man tries to save a woman in a situation like that, we call it a simp. Because it's a feminine move. It's a very feminine move. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one.